Okay, so next up we're going to start putting it all together. So the sections that you'll need are your cover, your outer bits, uh, your base section, and your flap. So first of all we need to attach the base to the cover. So obviously you want the, the two sort of bottom parts to go together, the base parts. So we clip them at the seam allowance. And then I would at least base that on so it doesn't move when you're sewing. Okay, otherwise it will make life a little bit difficult. Then when you've attached that part together, then attach, so you've got your flap and you've got the bigger seam allowance, which is the base joining piece. So you will then stitch that together. So you'll have those three layers stuck together. And then be sure to move your webbing out of the way, makes it easier. So they're just basted together. And then we will attach our flap. Okay, so this time we just basted uh, it together with about a, an eighth of an inch seam allowance. This time we're going to use a quarter of an inch seam allowance and make sure that you back tack. Again, move your webbing out of the way your handle back tack again so next up we need to put our reinforcement in our spine so if you lie it flat, you may have to trim it, you may not. And then I would clip it in at the sides. And the reason why you may have to trim it is just because of your seam allowances, basically. So right, we've wedged that, wedge it right in. If it's fusible, you feel like you can fuse it to the other side, then that's great, do that. Otherwise, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so this is the, the tricky bit. So next you have to pull up the joining, uh, the joining flap joining piece, or the front pocket joining piece. I'm rubbish with remembering the names everything wants to kind of pull up with it so just be careful you can stitch it down and then shove the piece of pellon through but i find that really difficult and then it gets really misshapen um which it will do over time but you just want to kind of preserve it as much as you can and the other thing you can do is just kind of flatten those pieces it's just that the flap keeps pulling away.
Okay, and then we're going to stitch that down. All right, so once we've basted those bits together, we're going to add our inner pocket. So what we need to do for that is have that right sides together. And then again, you just stitch that at a quarter inch seam. So it should go over this seam. Basically, you don't want to be able to see that stitching afterwards. So just go on the, the very tiny other side of it if you can. Uh, and then they'll be together. Okay, so now we're just going to base these bits together. Uh, I find this part quite tricky. It's just really fiddly, that's all. So don't be scared. And now that that is basted together, we're going to add the front pocket, the inside, the inner po pocket, I can't remember what I called it. Terrible, isn't it? can't even remember the name of my own pattern pieces. Yeah, so I turn it over and then we want to stitch just inside or on top of that inside stitching line. It will be tricky because the pallon sometimes gets in the way, um, but we will get there. Also watch out for your zipper on the pocket because that will get in the way so you need to unzip it to move it out of the way. Some people find this much easier with a zipper foot so if that works for you then try that if you're struggling with another foot and just go slow.
you go. Tricky on your hands. And there we go. You can't see can't see any of my stitching in there, which is great. And all the pieces are together. All right, so all of our pieces are together. You can't see my stitching through there, which is fantastic. And we've got quite a stiff spine. And all these pieces are all together. So the, the case is starting to take shape. Next up, we need to put our pieces of pallon in here. So we, we shove them in there and then we're going to baste around the edges and then we will make our zipper sides. Uh, at this point, it's a good idea to check with your, with your snap closing that it, it holds it, that it's long enough um, or not too long, it's in the middle otherwise later on it's a bit tricky to fix that so that's a good time to check and then base that down so it's nice and intact okay so now we're ready to put the last bits together uh, the first up we're gonna put in our pellon you can if you I've used cork so I can't but you can fuse it to the cover if you want obviously you can't well you could fuse it to this but it's a lot harder to get through those layers right so first of all I would line up the edges here sorry it's all white so it's hard to see um right into your corners and across the bottom You need some binding clips for this part and then all the way down the side so you want it really snug in there so I just do the base first or the, the back the cover first and then we lay on our base piece and line that all up so it's nice and secure try not to have any puckers at this stage because you will definitely get them when you stitch it all right so nice and flat and then I've already done the cover but we do the same with the cover, the front part and your pocket and then it's a good idea to check on the outside as well just to make sure it's all nice and straight and lined up and then it's all ready it's all ready for you to baste all the way around okay so now we're going to baste it together Okay, so now we're going to baste it together.
And there you go. It's all basted together.